I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. Ending off the meeting at Hollywood Bet Scots will be race number eight. This will be run down the lane 1,200 metres, an 87 handicap. And as we've been giving some stats for all the stats people out there, if you look at the last 850 races down the lane, draw number six comes up best of all. So if you like draw number six, then you have to go with the Wendy Whitehead runner here, which is Lord Wiley, number six. So if you're going on stats alone, number six, Lord Wiley, a nice roughie that is worth including into all of your bets. And this is a horse who likes the course and distance. So take note of number six, Lord Wiley. Devon, let's start with number one, Noble Sniper. This is from the Goth Puller Stable. Third run after the rest. And if you just look at his overall form, he's a horse who has found support on a number of occasions. And the way he races, he's such a strong horse. I think dropping him back to the 1200 could be a big plus. Yeah, I, I make this a <clears throat> excuse me. I make this a massive runner here. It does represent a bit of that high felt form. Sipasishle Schlengwa is aboard. He's going to take two and a half kgs off. You're quite right. He's a big, strong son of Noble Tune. <clears throat> and if you go back in his form lines, I mean, he ran 4.65 lengths behind Castletown. Prior to that, 1.35 lengths behind Duke of Sussex. Now, for me, that's good enough form to win here. And there could be some value because this horse is trading at around about 7 to 1 in the betting market. Massive runner for me. Stable companion number two, Franz Loha. He came to the course with a big reputation. First time out, the money came for him. And he came with a whipping finish to beat Stevie G on that occasion. Coming to the 600, he couldn't win. The 400, the 200. And the next thing, he kicked into gear. Looking at his last effort when running third to Auntie Lizzie. All his runs have been over 1,000 metres. Does he give you the indication he's now looking for a bit further? Yeah, I think maybe the, the, the 1200 could suit this horse down to the ground. It's trading at around about 17 to 10. Um, healthy respect for him. I, I, I know that he's rated by the yard. And like you said, he comes with a big reputation. But 17 to 10 on this horse is a bit too short for me to have, to have a bet on the head. Healthy respect for him. He might come out and win by many lengths on the day. But he, he's not my first selection. But healthy respect for him. And I think the 1200 will suit. I mean, he is a young three-year-old. So the improvement factor is there but not too much value based on his last few runs and his reputation. So not, not an easy horse to assess. Number three, Strawberry Bear. He's a horse who's on the upward motion. He's climbing the ladder. He's done exceptionally well for the connections. He won beating Global Dollar last time out. He's coming back from a rest and he's also rising in class. What do you make of his chances? Yeah, I definitely think that uh, this is one of the principal contenders. The form lines have uh, worked out, if I'm not mistaken. Crested Eagle does come out of that form line as well that came out and won the other day. So uh, I know that the Yard do rate this horse as well, and around about 4-1 to one having a, uh, is worth having a little bit of an each-way bet on. Now, my rough here in the race at any price is number seven, Intrepid, from the Allison Wright stable. We saw Nicholas Patel bring home, I think, a 40 to 1 shot the other day. And this horse is going to be trading at any price. When you look at Intrepid, he achieved a 102. He's racing off an 86. I don't think we've seen the best of him, and I don't think he's quite been the same horse that he was earlier on. So I'm just waiting for him to bounce back. If he decides to bounce back and everything falls into place, he could certainly run into the money? Definitely uh, a horse to keep a close eye on, Sheldon. Doesn't form part of my uh, top four selections, but you're quite right. And uh, the recent form is not really inspiring. But if you dig deep in the form lines and you go back, He's run 8.6 lengths behind William Robertson. If you dig even deeper, 1.5 lengths behind Safe Return, one lengths behind uh, Barcelona on that occasion. That's good enough form to, to, to win a race of this nature. So if he bounces back to best and the stables got him right, comes from the Allison right yard, no doubt that this horse will run an absolute cracker. 
And then horses like number eight, Don Karori, and number nine, just a guy thing. You have to throw them into the equation. But number nine, just a guy thing, on form, just seems to be a bit better on the poly. Yeah, I'm in full agreement with you. Uh, I just think that the source is slightly better on poly. And uh, lens-wise, he's never far off the action. So maybe back end of trifectas and quartets with Keegan DeMello in the saddle. Well, that's great doing the show with Devon, and hopefully the horses do it for you on the track. We've given you a guide, and now it's up to the, the trainers to get the horses there, and the guys who get them down to the start, the riders, and the handlers, and the grooms. they got to do their job now. We've done our form studying. We're looking for Goth Pullers, number one, Noble Sniper, and number two, Franz Lahar. Those are the two horses that they have to beat. Draw-wise and stats-wise, number six, Lord Wiley, and number seven, Intrepid for me, could be the lurker in the pack. Uh, my name's Danny Diliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. Communities we, we work with are all over the peninsula, and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change.